Today's show is proudly brought to you by Sneakers and More. If you are like me, there is nothing better than putting on a new pair of sneakers or even kidding yourself out in new training wear. So why not go spoil yourself today and even more so, get 10% off your next order. All you've got to do is send your proof that you watched this video and boom, there you have it. Sneakers and More stock all the best brands like Nike, Reebok, Adidas, Fila, Puma and so much more. So there you have it folks. Get 10% off your next order by contacting Sneakers and More on Facebook today. If you ask any of my friends or family what I enjoy drinking the most, no doubt the answer would always be water. You need to drink at least two to two and a half liters of water a day to maintain a healthy bodily system. Now in saying that, where do you get your water from? The best place to get your water? Oasis East Rand. Our friends over at Oasis Eastern have got a great uh, charity drive that they're doing at the moment. And, you know, we often forget how cold it is truly out there. And there are a lot of less fortunate people out on the streets. So the Oasis franchises in the Eastern area have decided to collect old and new clothes, as well as blankets this winter, to spread across the community. So for every donation you drop off at your nearest Oasis outlet, you will receive two complimentary five-liter Oasis still waters as a token of our appreciation. So not only are you doing good for the community, you're doing good for yourself. Guys, no other place, Oasis East Rand. Go and drop off your used and new clothes and blankets now. What if I told you there was a natural product that has many benefits such as blood sugar reduction, it's a probiotic, it promotes beautiful and healthy skin, soothes coughs and your throat, it boosts your memory, provides nutrients, treats wounds, heals burns, Helps even with seasonal allergies. Guys, if you know what I'm talking about, it is honey. And not just any honey. It has to be 100% natural, raw honey. And I have just got the people for you that can provide you with this awesome product. The company's name is Bees Knees Honey. And they sell only 100% honey. And it comes in three awesome packaging. Uh, One of them is just a nice glass jar. The other option, which is sometimes really, really great, especially in summer, is a squeezy jar or a squeezy bottle. And then last but not least, if you're on the run and always busy like I am, then they sell honey in straws. Yes, that's right, straws. So if you're all about supporting the smaller guys, not these big corporations, then look no further than Bees Knees Honey. They are based in Impala Park and they provide you with the absolute best taste in honey. Um, Like I said, it is 100% natural and raw. And if you'd like to order yours today, please contact Renier Foss on 082-445-2075 or you can find them on Facebook at The Bees Knees. And it's as simple as that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link their page as well in the description of this video so that you can go and find them. But yes, guys, you please, you've got to go and support them. It is amazing. Hey, what's up, you guys? And welcome back to another episode of the Talking Lead podcast. Um, I hope you guys are keeping well. Hope you're keeping warm in this cold snap that we're experiencing at the moment. Um, and something to warm you up at the moment is the transfers. The Premier League season is on its way. Pre-season is completely underway. Um, A lot of the international players that were playing in the Euros are still on um, their holidays and their mandatory breaks, but for the rest of the players and the rest of the clubs, they're back at action and I'm sure you've been following your team closely. And if you haven't, we need to talk about some transfers, some transfers that have happened ins and outs of clubs. So today I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of some of the ins and outs. And we are going to be starting off with Arsenal today. And one confirmed signing at the moment is Nuno Tavares from Benfica for an undisclosed fee. Um, a very good talent uh, and I'd say an underrated signing, but we just have to see for the future how Nuno is going to do. Some big names that have left Arsenal is Danny Sabeos. His loan has expired. The likes of Matt Ryan's loan has also expired. Martin, Martin Odegaard also expired. David Luiz's contract expired and they did not renew it. There's no blaming them for not renewing it. Um, yeah, that was some of the big ones there. Also, Gwendizi, Matteo, <laughs> he has gone out on loan to Marseille. And William Salibi has also gone to Marseille on loan. If we look at Aston Villa, they've made one decent signing so far from Norwich. They signed Imi uh, Benia for a total of £38 million. Pounds. <sighs> I don't know how good that signing is going to be. Uh, expensive, maybe. But could work out either way. Um, we're going to go down the list and we look at the likes of Brighton. They've made one 
um, confirmed signing so far, which is Jeremy Sarmiento from Benfica for an also an undisclosed fee. Uh, Enoch Mwepu from Red Bull, Red Bull Salzburg, also an undisclosed fee. Makes you wonder how much they are buying and selling these players for when there is an undisclosed fee attached to it. Uh, one name that really shocked me that they got rid of was old Davy Proper. They sold him to PSV Eindhoven for an undisclosed fee. You guessed it, that's right. Um, if we continue to look down the list, Chelsea haven't made any signings yet, even though they are busy, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, actively scouting in the markets. I know they've been trying to get their hands on a few players, some big name players, so I'm sure for Chelsea fans you are looking out for that. Just some of the players that they have um, sold or got rid of. Willie Caballero has left the goalkeeper. His contract has expired. Uh, Fikayo Tomori went to AC Milan for 25 million. Victor Moses went to Spartak Moscow, also for an undisclosed amount. Uh, exciting talent, Billy Gilmore has gone to Norwich City on loan, which I think is going to be a great move for him. We saw what happened with uh, Oliver Skip from Tottenham that went to Norwich on loan last season. Was the player of the season, if I'm not mistaken. So... Yeah, Norwich seem to take um, players and groom them real nicely. If we have to look out, let's go down the line. Ha! This one really shocked me. I actually thought it was a joke at first. Uh, Everton signing Andros Townsend. Now, I wonder why, because he went on a free, which means his contract was up at Crystal Palace and they never renewed his contract. So, I wonder what the case was, because they have a lot of old players at Crystal Palace. So, getting rid of Andros Townsend... I don't know. He was a winger playing on the right. He could play on the left-hand side as well. He played once or twice through the middle. So for Everton fans, I don't know. What do you think? Are, are you happy with Andros coming? It is a free transfer transfer after all. Um, we know there's a lot of other drama that's happening at Everton Football Club at the moment, which we will not disclose any players' names for legal reasons. Um, if you haven't heard or seen about it, uh, you will find out about it on Twitter and Facebook and all of that. But yo. As a talking league, we will not be disclosing any of that information. Another one that they'll sign for free is Esmo Begovic from, excuse me, from Bournemouth, the goalkeeper. Good backup to have. Is that a sign that Jordan Pickford's on his way out? I don't think so. I think it's just for competition purposes. And of course, the Maori Gray from Bayer Leverkusen for £1.6 million. So pretty decent sign in there. Some of their players that they've got rid of, well, when I say got rid of, it sounds ugly. They've sold these. Uh, Theo Walcott, he's gone to Southampton for free, returning to his home. Uh, Josh King has left. Yannick Balassi has left. Mohamed Besic has left. Yeah, there's a lot of names that have gone. Uh, even Callum Connolly went to Blackpool. So interesting times there. Leeds, on the other hand, got themselves a good buy, in my opinion, with Jack Harrison from Man City. Very, very good buy there. Um, some of the players that left Leeds aren't really your your bigger name players, so not to worry about the likes of Matthew Turner, uh, Ryan Edmondson. Uh, some could debate decent player on his day, yes. If we look at uh, Leicester City, they've been fairly active. They've gone and bought Ryan Bertrand, the left back from Southampton, for free. Um, I think that's a pretty good buy. I definitely think that's a good buy. So it'll be interesting to see how Ryan gets on at Leicester City. Could suit their play very well. Um, Bupakari Sumari from Lille for £17 million, pounds, also a good buy. And then Patson Ducker from RB Salzburg for £23 million. Wes Morgan, retired. Yep, that's right, Wes Morgan, retiring the centre-back. Um, he's on his way, well, he's gone now. Christian Fuchs, for Fuchs' sake, has left contract, has expired, as well as Matthew James and Admiral Musque. Liverpool have also been fairly quiet, but they have made one signing, also RB Leipzig. Silent a player for 36 million in Ibrahimi Kanati. Um, he was in action for Liverpool in a preseason game the other day. Pretty decent player, pretty exciting. Um, exciting to see how he fits in in the Liverpool squad. But a big loss, uh, and I say it's a big loss, and I'm not a Liverpool fan, but some Liverpool play, uh, fans are so excited that Ginny Wijnaldum has left. And where did he go to? PSG. That's right, PSG that have practically bought every player under the sun at the moment. Went and bought Ginny Wijnaldum, which is a very good buy, in my opinion. Um, some other players, a lot of youth academy players, Joe Hardy, Liam Coyle, and uh, Paul Glatzel leaving as well on loan, respectively. Man City haven't bought anyone yet. As a Spurs fan, let's hope it stays that way and they leave Harry Kane alone. <laughs> um, yeah, look, if Harry Kane goes to Man City, I'm bummed that it's a Premier League team that he's gone to. However... 
Um, I understand his ambitions, and unfortunately, the club can't match his ambitions at the moment. And the man wants to win trophies. No better platform than to go to Man City and win them. So let's hope Man City don't buy. Sorry, Ashley, I know you're a City fan. Um, yeah, some names that have left City, the likes of Sergio Aguero, obviously went to Barcelona on a free. We saw how emotional that was. Eric Garcia, also to Barcelona on a free. Jack Harrison, as we spoke about earlier, went to Leeds. Um, and then once again, a couple of their youth players, Callum Doyle, leaving. Man United, well, the big one. Big, big, big one is Mr. Sancho. Uh, I'm sure United fans are absolutely licking their lips. I'm so excited about that signing. Um, I don't know. I, I think I'm about 80% convinced that it's a good buy. Um, and people saying, oh, are you crazy? Do you not know how good a player is? Yes, yes, and yes. So remember when United bought Memphis Depay and what happened there. That didn't turn out. Now, you can blame the manager that was in charge of him at the time. And sometimes that does affect it, but... Wasn't a good fit. Same as uh, Angel Di Maria. Also, it wasn't a good fit. So, Alexis Sanchez is another one. Just because they're big players doesn't mean they're going to do well at your club. And I'm, I'm, I'm not having a dig at Man United. I'm just saying I don't know how big of a bar that is going to be. But yet to be told. And then, obviously, a couple of players that have left United. Um, oh, sorry. We didn't speak about Tom Heaton. Now, Tom Heaton has gone and joined United from Aston Villa on a free. So... Who's going to be leaving United's goalkeeping ranks? Interesting question. But some of the outside I wanted to talk about was Sergio Romero. See what I did there? He hinted at the goalkeepers leaving. <laughs> um, well, anyways, Sergio Romero's contract had expired. And then Tahir Chong, obviously, going to Birmingham City on loan. So that was a pretty decent bar for him. Newcastle just got rid of Andy Carroll. Contract expired. No surprise there. Christian Atsu's contract also expired. I'm surprised they didn't renew it for another season. Newcastle fans, what do you think? Okay, we are moving on to Tottenham now. At the moment, currently zero ins. However, with our new director of football at the helm, we have got three potentially great players coming through the door. So uh, those should happen over the next couple of days. Probably the latest next week they will be announced. I'm really excited about them as Tottenham, as a Tottenham fan. Um, one of the players that left was Paolo Gatzenegger, uh, the goalkeeper. His contract expired. We never renewed it. And hence, one of the new players we've been signing is a goalkeeper. I don't know what that means for Joe Hart. Joe Hart probably could be on his way out as well. Danny Rose, obviously, he went to Watford on a free transfer. It was just not going to work out for him anymore. Um, great Tottenham player. As you can hear, the joys of recording a podcast at home is that your dogs will go crazy at any point. So apologies for that. Um, yeah, so Danny Rose is out the door and Juan Foyth has left for Villarreal. He was there on loan last season, but they've made that move permanent. Good one for him. Uh, let's look at Watford. Obviously signing Danny Rose, like I said. Um, Imran Loser from Nantes, also undisclosed fee. And getting Josh King, who has been unattached. So no club. <laughs> and if we go on to West Ham, um, Armstrong Oku Flex from Celtic. Now, I know there are some Celtic fans that listen to this. I don't know what your views are on that. You've got to let me know because there is mixed reviews on, on Armstrong and I'd love to hear them from you. I'm going to go look at Wolves. I can tell you the Wolves manager, Nuno, has left for Tottenham, which I'm rather excited about. Um, but anyways, we're looking about players now. So in Jose Zar from... Olympiacos, also a good bar, and uh, Yerson Moscheri from Atletico Nacional. And some of their players that left was Rui Patricio, the goalkeeper. Hmm, is the Portuguese contingency leaving at uh, Wolves? It appears so, but we'll have to see. And Dion Sanderson, obviously, leaving for Birmingham on loan. So, this is what I've got to ask you today, fans. Are you happy with your team's business so far in the transfer market? If not, what would you like to see? Who would you like to see signed? I mean, as a Spurs fan, I'd love Arsenal to sell all their players and just to play with no one. That would be great. However, it's not realistic. So who would you like to see your club sign at this moment? Drop it in the comments below. Let us know. And maybe we're going to do a player review on the particular player that you are talking about. Anyways, guys, you can see I'm all kitted out in the Talking League hoodie, which we are still selling. JVW caps with our awesome partnership with JVW Women's Football, which if you do not know anything about that, what rock are you living under? You need to go and find out more about JVW Women's Football. Anyways, guys, that's it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed some of the transfer business. 
I hope you're looking after yourself and staying safe. Keep warm. Cheers. Goodbye.